I bet many of you this weekend went out and picked out your Christmas tree. So to celebrate, let's paint a little red truck with a Christmas tree inside of it. So first I'm taking a mop brush with some white and a little bit of navy doing up and down strokes. I'm using 11 by 14 canvas board. And I'm using the navy on the right and the left, but in the middle I'm going to use white and dip into a lighter blue just to give the illusion of depth of the Christmas tree truck driving out into the distance. Now for the bottom I'm going to do a little bit of ground. It's going to be snow covered road, so navy and white back and forth strokes at the bottom with the mop brush and then dip into some clean white and I'm going to bounce some snow along the edge. See I'm bouncing down to the corner but it goes in towards the center. Do that on both sides so the road goes up to a point a little bit. That gives you a little bit of perspective for the road. And while it's still wet, brush in those snow drifts a little bit towards the center of the road. There we go. Make sure that's dry and let's start our truck. I'm going to do a red truck because that's classic for Christmas time. Taking a size eight round brush, do a horizontal line for the width that you want your tailgate to be and make a rectangle underneath it. That's just the back end, so fill that in. And then slightly in from the edges, I'm going to do two lines going up from that tailgate and do a curved rainbow type shape over top for the roof. And then do an outline for the shape of your window. I'm just gonna do something like this and fill that shape around it in. And once you have that shape filled in, let's do a little bit of defining with some black. I'm gonna take a size three round brush and do a thicker black line at the top of that rectangle we made in the beginning. This defines that from the top of the truck. And I'm also gonna do two lines going down from the sides just to give it a little bit of spacing because we have to add the sides of our truck in. Taking the same brush then, grab some red after washing out the black and do a curved line around the sides of that black that represents the sides of your truck. And then I always learned so much from these paintings. Last time I did a red truck, I found out that the things covering the wheels are called wheel wells or fenders. So I'm taking just about halfway down some red and doing another curve coming out. That's those looking at it from behind. And the bottom looks a little funny, so let's clean that up and add a bumper with some gray paint. I'm just doing a thick curved line down at the bottom, straighten it up and fill it in. You could use silver, I'm just using gray. Hey, it's starting to look like a truck. Don't forget to do a second coat if you feel like you need it. Notice we didn't have to prime our shape this time because the, the background was almost pretty white, but a second coat really helps. You could also leave the window plain and have the sky shining through it. I'm just gonna paint mine in black because I want to make it a little bit bigger. So we're just gonna pretend it has a lot of contrast or maybe it's a tinted window. Fill that in with black if you want to, and then you can clean up any lines. So I'm gonna define a little bit more now that we have the truck shape. Cleaning up this thicker edge at the top of the tailgate. I'm going to have the it curved out a little bit further on the edges. And don't forget tires. I'm going to do a curved rectangle at the bottom that's almost centered on that side line of the tailgate. See that? Do two of those shapes and fill it in as well. You can also take a detail brush and add as many details as you want. I always, at the very least, like to do a little bit of black outlining to help things stand out. I think that makes it pop out from the background. So I'm just doing a little bit along the edges and the roof. It's also add a little bit of white expression strokes along the edges for some highlights. Not too detailed, but something. You can even do some horizontal lines in there inside the back end of the truck. Simple on the window too. I'm even gonna do a couple back and forth strokes and blend that in to make it look like the light is shining on the window. There we go. How about even a line in the middle to define the back? And on the left-hand side, I'm gonna add a little mirror. Somebody said they only had them on really old trucks on the left-hand side. So I'm gonna do that and a little curve. <laughs> define it however you want. Now, I wanna do something fun. I've seen some people add fun license plates, so I'm just doing a curved rectangle at the bottom coming off of the bumper. Outline that, and you can put whatever you want inside. I'm gonna put joy because I think that sounds just like Christmas time. And once you have your official license plate, grab a detail brush with some green. We're going to start our tree. Make a guideline coming out from the trunk of your truck, leaning to the left or the right, and then grab a fan brush. I'm using dark and light green, and just starting at the top of the line, I'm going to start tapping kind of up and down. See how they're coming out from the line at an angle pointed down towards the truck. 
and it gets a little bit wider as you get towards the trunk. Don't go below that black line because the tree is in the trunk. And see, it might be a little bit uh, kind of uneven on the sides because they're not trimmed quite yet, but make sure it's pointed and gets wider towards the bottom. See how I'm just bouncing them in. In the very end, you shouldn't see this guideline that we made in the beginning. If you still see it, it just means you didn't do enough branches. Just keep adding this texture till it looks nice and full like a Christmas tree should. And then once you get all of your tree shape in there, don't forget to take a little bit of white. You don't need to wash out your fan brush, but grab some white and tap in some snow. That's also going to make it look nice and full. We haven't gotten snow yet, but it got pretty cold this past week over Thanksgiving, so I would think it might snow soon. Now the tree's on the way home, let's decorate the back of the truck. I'm gonna add a little wreath using a stencil brush. Now this has a little bit of a stiffer bristle. So instead of using a fine sea sponge, which would be a little hard to get this tiny detail, I'm just taking a little bit of green from the tree and bouncing a circle shape. See that texture? It's a good alternative to a fine sea sponge, by the way, if you don't have a fine sea sponge, use a stencil brush and you get a very similar texture to do tiny details. So I got my wreath shape, and if you saw my easy wreath painting, I'm just gonna do a mini version of that. First, I'm going to do a white bow shape just to prime it so I can make it bright red then whenever it dries. And then you can take a detail brush then and decorate the wreath however you want. I'm gonna just do some little tiny dots of yellow and some bright red as well. Don't really have to prime the little dots if you don't want to because that much concentrated paint in one area does stay pretty bright. Now let's do some final details. Taking some navy and white from the beginning, I'm just gonna do some back and forth strokes with my round brush underneath the tires, moving down towards the bottom of the canvas. This makes it look like the truck is going through the snow, grounds it a little bit. And then you could add some actual snow in the sky. So I'm gonna do some larger snowflakes by using the back end of my brush and tapping in some white all around and even do some splatter snow, take a little bit of watered down white. This makes little tiny spritzes all over the sky, even on the truck and the tree. And how about some Christmas lights? Maybe going out of the Christmas tree farm, I'm gonna use a black Posca pen. You could use just a black Sharpie or a detail brush and some black. I'm gonna do two lines from either side. And how about the back end of a pencil to do a tiny little circle shape? I'm just gonna tap in some yellow all the way across underneath each of those lines. I'm going to add a little bit of white inside each of them as well. And once that's dry, I want them to stand out a little bit more from the background. So I'm gonna take the actual pencil and outline the bottom of those lights all the way around. There we go. All about the details, you could put whatever you want up in the sky. And speaking of lights, you know, I knew I was forgetting something. I taught this painting yesterday and a lot of the residents added some little lights in the back. So of course I have to add lights so the truck can see where it's going, even though this is the back end. <laughs> Two circles on either side, made them yellow and then outlined them in some with some gray, maybe add a little bit of white in there. And there we go. Have fun with it, add your own details. I can't wait to see how they turn out. And if you wanna see more tutorials like this, follow at Emily Steelhammer Art on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube.